Next, we have got uh, Yi and Jachi uh, from Reed Panda. So Reed Panda is pretty cool. Um, I personally met them at the giant Hugging Face uh, event. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead and plug in here. Got this right there. So I met them at the giant Hugging Face events at uh, the um, was it the Exploratorium. Um, uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was really cool because they had this whole booth set up. It was super professional. I thought their company had been around for a while, and like, no, we actually just built this at a hackathon last weekend, uh, and it was pretty cool how quickly they went from something they built at a hackathon to something that that you know was built up and had a following. So I think you'll enjoy uh, hearing their story, and I'll turn it over to you guys. Enjoy. Oh uh, no, we got the laptop video outputting. You guys, there we go. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We are Read Panda. I'm Jackie, and this is E. Uh, we built this Read Panda during a hackathon happened last month, and we won the second place um, for building this. And let's first talk about why are we building this. So kids have been falling behind in reading. In fact, he has a daughter, and she's a fourth grader, and she is struggling with reading. So he really wanted to help her daughter and many other kids who are also struggling. 65% um, of fourth graders are falling behind in reading. And if you couldn't um, learn to read before, or fourth, uh, before fifth grade, you will be struggling to read to learn. So it's like a really, really um, pressing issue right now. Um, so that's why we built Read Panda. Uh, we utilized technologies such as GPT and Dolly to build this. So we used GPT to break a word down into phoneme sequences so that the kids can sound out the sequences repetitively and that will help them to memorize the sound of a word. We also use Dali to generate a word um, a corresponding to the word. And he is gonna show us how this app actually works. All right. So does anybody wanna give me a word? Just shout it out. Strawberry. Strawberry, All okay, right. let's do it. One B. I know. <laughs> All right, so first thing it does is it grades the word. So it says that strawberry is a first grade word. So let's, let's do first grade here. And then what it does is it breaks the word apart, right? So for students, it's really important to what sound out the word. So um, a word like strawberry has different phoneme sequences. The picture is taking forever. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so um, if you're having trouble sounding out the word, the thing that helps the most is to practice and repeat. So let's try the struss sound here. Oh, we can actually hear the sound too if we click this. Yeah, if, if our working? audio is working. Okay, it's not working. Okay. okay. Well, never mind. It says strawberry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just like that. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we can try again. Later. Okay, so so we're looking for words with the stress sound here. When you're doing a demo, oh everything's God. just a little bit slower. Oh no. Okay, API error. Okay, um, let's try let's try uh, let's try the bus sound instead. That hasn't happened in a while. All right. All right. So there, here's a, here are different words here. Um, at the first grade level that have the bus sound. So let's let's pick another word. Which one would you like to pick, Jackie? Um, blue. Okay, let's try blue. All right, so here it says, you know, the E here is silent. It's telling the kid the E is silent. Let's see if the sound works now. Okay. Audio is still not working. Here, here, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Blue. All right. Did you guys hear that? 
<laughs> All right. So, um, so we tried this with some kids, and uh, let's see, let's see what they thought. Did it help to have the syllables broken up to help you sound it out? Yeah. Yeah, what word was it that you didn't know? But when you saw that was broken up? It was easier. It was easier? <laughs> Good. So do you give a thumbs up? Do you like Red Panda? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Very cute. And All right. So just one last thing. Just so you, you might have seen the Yoda here. So, so, so let's, let's do another one. Let's do uh, old. All right, first grand word. Okay, so um, just for today uh, and tomorrow and maybe through the weekend until Disney's lawyers contact me, you can click the Yoda. So, so let's, let's try that. Nope, oh, not that one. Sorry. It's all right. Okay. You gotta click the Yoda, yeah, there you go. So you can talk to Yoda here. I'm not gonna do a Yoda voice. But we can ask Yoda some more questions. Uh, let's say, um, how do you live so long? All right. All right. OK, so let's say uh, we, we will try. All right, so where are we, Panda? Thank you so much for coming to our presentation. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, come try it out, readpanda.org. Yes, and any other, any questions? Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Anyone have any questions? Oh, I see one right here in the front. Let me come up to you there. Maybe introduce yourself and then a uh, question. Sure. Uh, my name is Davis. I'm from, uh, coming from Latvia um, and starting a project called ecom.ai. Uh, my question would be, how do you track the progress or is there anything that tracks which words um, to repeat or improve or kind of how, how would a parent or the kids see uh, the progress? That's a very good question. Um, we have not implemented logins yet, as you can see. Um, it is on the list, but we're also open source, so if you want to help us implement it, please uh, go to github.com slash yesding slash repanda. That is a very community answer. I like it. <laughs> Anyone else? We got time for one more question? Anyone? Awesome. Way in the back there. Hold on. Go ahead and introduce yourself, and what's your question? Hello, I'm Shubham, and I think building for kids is like so interesting, and I love the use case. One thing I always wonder about, right, like building for kids, is like how do you safeguard for safety, and how you think about that? Because you know, like uh, there is like a lot of evidence in the community about like YouTube and other things that have kids products uh, that have like malicious content and propagates through. So just curious to hear if you have any thoughts there. Um, one second, I'm going to repeat that just so everyone can hear. The question is about safety, especially childhood safety. You see on YouTube, they have YouTube kids, and they have to do a lot of work to implement to make sure children aren't exposed to anything inappropriate. How, what do you think about uh, child safety, and what are you doing to implement that? Yeah, obviously this is very important. Um, you know, uh, I just watched the Khan, the, you know, Sal Khan's uh, TED Talk today. So. <laughs> So, um, so, so generally, uh, the way people are doing it is they're uh, putting some filters in the front and the back, some guardrails. Um, so, in particular, actually, a lot of people are using uh, LLMs, things like GPT, to um, guardrail itself. So, uh, you, you have different prompts, some prompts that are actually used for safety-specific purposes. Um, yeah, so that's that's the way we would do it. Okay, awesome.